Turning this 2008 XServe server with a dual quad core processors into essentially a Mac Pro. Joe Moses here for N90X, and this is a little project that pretty much anybody can do. Get yourself the power of a Mac Pro for a fraction of the cost. This server here, I paid $146 on eBay for, and it came with three 80 gigabyte drives, sorry. And now if you take a look about this Mac, XServe, early 2008, Two times 2.8 gigahertz quad core. It's eight processors. I got 32 gigs in there of the 800 megahertz DDR2. Fully buffered DIMMs. I'm running Yosemite. I switched out the video card. What else do you want to see? Got a couple of older displays. Pang, pang! So the first thing you're probably thinking is, hey, I heard that the XServe does not support the latest OS, at least the 2008 does, was, is not on the supported list, and that is true. So in order to get operating system on the hard drive, you need to take out that hard drive, put it in a, a case, and hook it up to your existing MacBook Pro or Mac Mac and install Yosemite on that drive. Then what you gotta go to do is go into Core Services, which is System Library Core Services Platform Support P List. Which looks like this. And you have to add I know I'm doing this kind of fast. You have to add the strings. This is the Mac string. The supported board's ID. You have to add this one. F42289C8 string. This one. And you also on the bottom there, uh, supported model properties. You have to add XServe 2 comma 1. So you're doing this while it's connected to your MacBook Pro, you've already installed Yosemite on the drive, you modify this thing, save it out, then you can put it into one of your XServe drive trays, plug it in, and boot up. Always keep a copy of that modified piece support list. I've created here a Core Services alias, because what, what may happen is on an upgrade of the OS, any kind of point upgrade, it probably will overwrite that file, in which case you're going to have to boot up with another operating system, maybe Lion, copy this over, and then boot back up into Yosemite. So that's something to think about. But for, let's see, I got uh, 150, 250, 350. Oh, what about audio? Seven bucks. So with not in, not including shipping, I've got less than four hundred dollars invested in here. This is one. Let's call it one fifty. Memory it was two hundred. Um, so that's two fifty. Video card was a hundred. Less than a hundred. Three fifty. Less than four hundred dollars to get this puppy up. Of course, I'm using some older monitors. These are DVI monitors, uh, twelve twenty by ten eighty or something like that resolution. And you have to take out that mezzanine board. You can use it initially to get everything set up, but uh, I'm using the GT120 Mac OS bo board. You gotta pull this one out. There's four screws, pull it out. It just pops right out. This is the mezzanine card which uses this old fashioned uh, 
mini DVI port. Um, once you pull that out, the system will ignore it and will use your, your board that you plugged in. Obviously, you can get the newer, bigger boards, but you're going to have to, it, they won't fit. Simply won't fit if you want to run it as a server. Now, the next video, I'm looking at getting these front lights working. The server, when it's running as a server, has these lights representing each core and they will blink blue or light up blue depending upon how much you're using the server the CPU showing you the CPU load and there is a possible fix a hack to get that to work and I'm gonna try that on the next video but you know a Mac keyboard a generic mouse and oh some speakers I didn't talk about the audio sorry about that I'm, I'm rambling here this audio card seven bucks seven or eight bucks on ebay however and it works perfect without any drivers or just plug and play however there is a cheaper one and i'll put links to these guys in the bottom this one would cost a dollar 99 free shipping from hong kong or china it doesn't have all the features but it works also you just plug it in and it works it just has audio and mic you know indian outputs and for two bucks this will work this works fine if you're not really into high fidelity this one here has a lot of extra features with uh, mute buttons and volume controls, which, you know, I, I got this because it was guaranteed to work. This one said it, it supported OS X. I wasn't sure. Anyways, I got it as well. But either one is working fine. So, eight cores, baby. Eight cores running at 2.8 gigahertz. In an upcoming video, I'm going to put this to test. Put this to the test. Let's see what this thing can crank out. Running 10.10. .10. From N90X, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.